Hey guys, so today I want to give you an update on one of our birds. And that bird is the young bird that got out and then flew 70 miles. <laughs> All the way up in Pennsylvania. There it is. Has a frill right here. So now, you guys remember the video when I brought this bird back home? It was nothing. It was so skinny. It was just like, just the keel. I seriously thought this bird was going to die. Did not think this bird was going to make it. But I've had it in a little dog crate. And it's had lots of food and water. And now it's doing great. But look at this. This is what happens when a bird goes through a super stressful event during a molt. Look how a lot of the feathers didn't molt all the way. They're kind of constricted at the base. They didn't quite, it's basically like they stopped developing. <laughs> Take a look at the flights. Definitely got a lot of vibration going on, but look, it's gonna be these two flights right there, that one and that one. A little bit smaller than what I'd expect them to be. And then I had just pulled its ninth flight. And so look, right there at that point, you can see that the feather is still kind of partly sheathed. And that's the way all these feathers are. They're like still partly sheathed. Once the bird enters such a physical taxing and stressful situation, in this case, this was, I mean, she was starving and had just flown long distance. So once that happens, the body knows to divert all resources to staying alive. So the growing of new feathers is no longer a priority anymore. And it's just halted. Simply because there are no nutritional resources to dedicate to molting in that situation. So you can see the feathers on this bird that were partway through molting when this happened. The growth basically just shut down. Once I got her back and started her recovery, the molt was then able to continue. So we can see the effect of this halting of the molt by the many feathers that are partially in the feather sheath and constricted at that point. This guy's gonna have a funny looking molt for a little while, for a year. Look at the top of his head. <laughs> Got a little hairdo. Now this bird is a frill. It's got a natural frill along the front. This is 148. And I call this one the Polish frill. That's what I did call it. It's because it's out of the Greg Imports. Greg Rockets Imports. But I don't know. Maybe I should come up with a new name. Runaway. <laughs> or something. Escape artist. Overachiever. A lot of different possibilities for this guy. Look at that tremble. Got a lot of built up energy there, right? Cool. All right. So today this guy's going to join the flock again. Yay. Success story. And it was a success story because people took the time to stop and get out of their car when they saw him on the side of the road and rescue him and then took the time to look up the band number and figure out who his owner was. Thank you. Really appreciate it.